Uh, greetings, everybody. Jeffrey Guterman with the Stratomatic Network. And uh, I've, I have, oh boy, did I have a busy day today, this morning. Lord. Oh. And I'm going to make some coffee. to make it a four cup we've got Seattle at Kansas City Boy, did I have a busy morning. cup and when this is set we will get to our ball game again it is Seattle at Kansas City my name is Jeffrey Guterman this is the Stratomatic Network it's our 1969 replay and thank you for joining us This is pot number two, and it's brewing. And I hope everything's well with you, Kathy.
I think I think that should be ready now. Oh, that is good coffee. Oh, oh, that is some very, very good freaking coffee. Welcome everybody, Jeffrey Guterman here in the strat uh, Studio B here for the Stratomatic Sports Network.
Oh, that's good coffee. And we've got an afternoon ball game here, I'm so glad to say. Uh, it is the Seattle Pilots at the Kansas City Royals. Pitching for Seattle will be Bob Meyer, the left-hander. He has two wins. Wally Bunker going for the Royals. He has 111. Let's look at our lineups here. For the Seattle Pilots, leading off and playing third base is Tommy Harper. Batting second at second base, John Donaldson. Batting third in right is Wayne Comer. Steve Hovley is the cleanup hitter. He'll be playing center field. Batting fifth in left field is Danny Walton. You have an opening day baseball trivia question, Bill. How about right after the lineups? Uh, it'll be a warm up, a la Kath, Kath, uh, Kathy Harden. How about it? Don Mincher will play first base and bat sixth, middle of the first, okay? Jerry McNertney batting seventh, he's the catcher. Fred Stanley at shortstop batting eighth. And the pitcher with two wins on the season, left-hander, Bob Meyer. Okay, you can do it after pregame works, that's fine. Let me just get the Kansas City Royals here. Leaning off Jackie Hernandez at short, these are the Royals. Batting second in center field, Scott Northey. Batting third at second base, Louis Alcaraz. The cleanup hitter, playing first base, Chuck Harrison. Batting fifth at third base, Paul Shaw. Batting sixth and catching, Buck Martinez. Batting seventh, the rookie left fielder, Sweet Lou Pinella. Batting eighth in right field, Bob Oliver. And pitching, the right-hander. He's 111 already. Done a great job for Kansas City this year. Wally Bunker. And here's the pregame opening day. From Bill Ivamy. Let's give it up for Bill Ivamy here, pregame. Three players have hit eight opening day home runs, their team's opening game. All three players are for the Reds. All three players for the Reds. I don't, I don't know what you, oh, I don't know what you mean by amongst other teams, but I'll take a guess. Klazuski's a good guess. I had uh, Bench and Tony Perez. I was gonna say Frank Robinson. But I, then I realized maybe he didn't pitch, he didn't even play. Zero for three, whoa. Okay. Well, you stumped me on that one. Zero for three. Frank is one, okay, you see? Frank Robinson is one. 
And that's a lot of home runs, eight. And you're telling me he did that when he was on the Reds. I didn't know he played eight years for the Reds. Must have had a frickin' center fielder and a first baseman. Well, it's gotta be Griffey Jr. That's a good guess. Oh. Jen Slow. I don't know. I'm beat. I am beat on that. I have no idea. Anybody at all. Otherwise, we'll we'll go. For, we'll take the answer. If Adam Dunn. Oh. Adam. Done. You know, I was out of baseball for a long time in the 2000s. So is Adam Dunn, Frank Robinson, and is Griffey Jr.? Is Jr. the other one? We're gonna move on if you wanna throw that. That was a great question. Great question. Griffey is correct, so it's Griffey, Robinson, and Dunn. Thank you so much for that question. And the Kansas City Royals take the field. It's Bunker on the mound. And leading it off is Tommy Harper for the Seattle Pilots. Here's Bunker, he's ready. The wind up and the pitch to Harper. That's gonna be 5-7 right-handed. That's a drive hit out deep into the gap by Harper. Dropping extra bases. And he has a triple. A leadoff triple by Tommy Harper here. What a way to start the ball game. Seattle is three games ahead of Kansas City, believe it or not. Kansas City came in fifth uh, in real world. And it looks like we'll have a Wally Bunker question after this inning. So be it. So freaking be it. Here's John Donaldson now with Harper on third, no outs. Bunker already in trouble. From the stretch, Bunker. That's gonna be 5-9 left-handed, grounds it to first. That will hold Harper. And Harrison takes it to the bag, one away. Here's Com Comer now. Oh, that is good coffee. Oh. Oh, that is good frickin' coffee. Okay, bunker now. Wayne Comer. And that's 1-6. Right-handed. Walked him. Bunker has walked Comer on a 1-6 one, uh, one right-handed. That'll be infield back. And Steve Hovley, the batter, looking for the double play here to Bunker get out of this. Here's Bunker now. 
That's one five right-handed. There is a base hit by Hovley. Harper scores. Comer goes to third. And Seattle out to a quick one nothing lead here. Hovley with the single. Off bunker. It was a 1-5 right-handed. So it's still first and third. And one out. One in, and Danny Walton is the batter. Here's Bunker now trying to get out of this. And the pitch, 5-8, right-handed, grounds it to second. It could be two. Al Correa is a 3-10. Eighteen three. That'll be a G one. That's looking good if he doesn't boot it. Alcaraz E ten six ten twelve, and he does. It's a G one. Clean first and third, and he steps on the bag and throws to first for the double play, and the side is retired. So. I think Bunker lucks out there a little bit. Gets away one run there. The leadoff triple by Tommy Harper. Coming home on the base hit by Hovley. One left on base. We've gone one half at Seattle one. Here's Kansas City coming up now. Bob Meyer taking his warm ups. You think Archie Bunker, yeah. You know, I have a little trouble here. You want to talk about Bunker. I have a little trouble distinguishing Bunker from um, Rooker and Butler, especially Butler. Those are Bunker and Butler. And then what we have is on, uh, in, in another vein, we have a Wickersham and a Bergmeier. Okay, and I have a little trouble uh, distinguishing those. Uh, oh, oh, Lord, help me. Okay, here's Meyer now, left-hander, and it'll be Jackie Hernandez to lead it off. Okay, Meyer is ready. Here's the pitch to Hernandez. That's going to be a 6-6 six, six right-handed base hit to left for Hernandez to lead it off. It's not a triple, but it's better than an out. A 6-6 six, six right-handed single thrown in by Walton. Hernandez on. He's a one, he's being held. You know, that's a real close call. I'm gonna roll it and see that he is not being held. He's now a one to 14. And here's Scott Northey. So I have this new way of dealing with the stealing. I cover both ends, but if I'm Sort of undecided, I'll roll to see if they're held or not. That's on B's. Could be on A's. Who knows? Here's Northy now. Meyer from the stretch. The pitch to Northy, 210. Left handed, he struck him out. And that's one away. Here's Louis Alcaraz now. In real world, Mets lead one nothing. top of the third at City Field. They're playing Milwaukee. Again, one nothing. Mets, real world. It's the only game right now. Okay, Alcaraz facing Meyer with Hernandez on first. Still be uh, not being held. 
Here's the pitch to Alcaraz. And that's going to be a 6-5 right-handed. Grounds it to short. This could be two. Stanley, a 425. Don't count on it. Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. Nineteen four. Oh, it's a G one. It could be two. E twenty-five. Three a seven ten. On an E twenty-five. And he does turn the double. And the side is retired. Very nice play by Stanley. We'll score that six to four to three, if you will. The side is retired, no runs, one hit. And none left, and after one, it's Seattle one, KC nothing. Now we have a bunker question. We have a bunker question. Here it is now. Whoa. 1966 World Series, Wally beats Claude, and the Dodgers won nothing on a home run. Name the Oriole who hit the blast. He was still with the O's in 69. It's Blair by Horland, and Demo says 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, any evening next week except Monday for baseball demos. Wow. 8 p.m. Eastern. How about Tuesday? You say any day but Monday. You can give me the day, but how about Tuesday? I'm excited, and I'll set that up after this game so I can learn super advanced. That'd be the 29th, 30, 31, 1, 2. Joel Horland with Paul Blair. And Blair is correct. And that's a very, very good question, a very, very timely question. An appropriate question, given that Bunker is pitching. Thank you for that, Bill Ivamy. And baseball demos, thank you so much. I'm going to be setting up a broadcast. Is that is that so? And Ron McGrath has arrived. We have a great freaking game here, Ron. Folks, I want to let you know, Tuesday, March 2, at 8 p.m. Eastern, U.S. time, Baseball Demos is kind enough to join me on Live Together. I don't know if you've ever done a Live Together Baseball Demos, uh, but it's quite simple. You do need to use a mobile device. I don't know if you're Android or iPhone, but uh, the link I will send. Uh, I will have it posted in the live chat as well as the description, and you just click on that with your phone. And then you can show the chart, you can show the cards as examples, you could do whatever you want. And folks, that's good. it's gonna be a tutorial. It's gonna be a tutorial, uh, Android. I, it should work. Have you ever done a live together baseball demos? But we'll do, either way, we'll do it. We'll try it and uh, let me just make a note to myself here for Tuesday. That'll be March 2, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. A little late for me, but actually it would be good for me. And because uh, I'm usually in bed by then. <laughs> oh, Lord, that'll be fun. That is, again, that is the... Uh, looking ahead at the schedule that is a tuesday yes tuesday march 2 that'll be uh, april 2 that'll be a lot of fun thank you sir it's very kind of you very generous and you probably be helping others
you've done StreamYard, but you just do this straight with your YouTube. You, you go into your YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Go into your YouTube app on Android and just click the link, should be no problem. If you want to set it up, that's fine also, but I'll be more than glad to set it up. Okay, here's Bunker now. It's one nothing Seattle. Mincher will lead it off. Top of the second, that's a 5-11 left-handed, grounds it to first X. Harrison, 2-10. Oh, that's great, yeah. I can follow with my own cards, absolutely awesome. Uh, 210 for Harrison, 14-2, G1, E10, 5-8-11. Oh, and he boots it. Oh my, Harrison with the error. It was 5-8-11. And so, Mincher is on. Here's Jerry McNertney now. So they had a rule, or have a rule, that every team has to have a representative. And that year it was Mincher, huh? Okay, Mincher on first, McNertney the batter. Here's the pitch, it's 5-7 right-handed. There's a drive off bunker. And that's gonna drop in the gap, it's a double. Mincher goes to third, let's see if he's gonna stretch it, I doubt it. One to 12, no, we'll have him hold second and third, no outs. A double off bunker. Five, seven, right-handed. And here comes uh, Fred Stanley now. <sighs> Bunker now. And the pitch to Stanley. That's gonna be six, six right-handed and that is a Fly ball to center, no question about it. It's gonna be Mincher tagging. Northy makes the catch and Mincher comes home with the second run, it's unearned. And here's Bob Meyer. Two nothing Seattle here. It's McNertney on second, one down. Here's Bunker. And the pitch won four and he struck him out. Two down. For Tommy Harper. Here's Bunker now. Two outs. Clutch situation. And the pitch. 4 8 right handed. Grounds it to third. That's Shawl. He scoops it and throws it over. And the side is retired, but another run for Seattle. It was unearned. The error by Harrison. And then the double by McNertney. And then Stanley with the sacrifice fly. We have gone, we're in the middle of the second here. It's 2 0. Here's Bob Meyer now. Harrison will lead it off. Here's Meyer. 
And the pitch, 6-10, right-handed, grounds it to third X. There's Harper. Harper, 428. Four twenty eight, that's a nine four. That's gonna be a G three. Harper, E twenty eight. Three four uh three four five six. And he throws him out. Harrison is retired. Nice play by Tommy Harper. Here's Paul Shaw. Meyer now into his windup. Here's the pitch. That's going to be four, eight right-handed. He grounds it to short for Stanley, and it's two outs for Buck Martinez. Meyer into his windup. Here's the pitch. That's 6-9 right-handed. A fly ball to right. Comer is getting under that. And he makes the catch, and it's a 1-2-3. Bob Meyer looking pretty good here at the start. We've gone two. It's 2-0. Two you there, Kathy? Kathy maybe uh, may have went and watched... Uh, the Met game. Uh, it's all tied up. It's Milwaukee one, New York Mets one. Milwaukee batting. Milwaukee batting uh, top of the fourth. It's the only game right now. And we have opening day trivia from Demos. Great demos here. Demos. It's okay. It's uh, just refresh it. Yep. I went down to twenty percent on the battery. It. it it's a shame that it does that. It stops, and I try to avoid that to the best of my ability. We have baseball demos opening trivia. Do you want to do it now, demos? We are um, at the top of the third. You can do it the middle of the third. You can do it the top of the fourth. Whatever you want to do is fine by me, uh, demos. You let me know when you want to do it. Uh, Meanwhile, Bunker is coming out here. And it will be John Donaldson. Okay, I'm not hearing from you. Uh, you're gonna do middle of the third, beautiful. Beauty. Here's Donaldson now. Bunker on the mound. Here's the wind up. He's allowed to run each inning. One of them unearned. The pitch to Donaldson, 6-4 left-handed. He struck him out. And that's the second for Bunker. Opening day question coming up after this half inning. Here's Wayne Comer now. He walked in the first. Oh, I didn't know that. Donaldson's nickname was Bones. Here's Bunker, the wind up and the pitch. And that's six five. Right handed, oh my. Hit well by Comer. Oh, it's falling in the gap. And it's going to be extra bases, a double by Wayne Comer. Bunker getting hit here in the early going. His action already in Seattle. 
Their bullpen is very well rested, except Locker. 6-5, it was a double. And Steve Hovley is the batter. Kansas City, they think they're a better team than Seattle, but Seattle has a three-game lead over them. Well, it's Trabowski, the right-hander warming. And so is Bergmeier, a left-hander. It's one out, Comer on second, Huffley at the plate. Here's Bunker now. From the stretch. Whoa! That was 3 4. He grounds it to first. Harrison has it. He takes it to the bag. Comer holds. We'll get Mo. Mo warming. He's well rested. 3 4 right handed. And here comes Walton. Clutch situation here for Danny Walton. Bunker trying to get out of this. If he does, he'll probably will probably let him hit in the third. Give him a chance. Here's Bunker now, the pitch to Walton. And that is 2-4 right-handed. Oh, it's a uh, clutch situation. Single pop-out conversion. We're gonna have uh, the third baseman, Paul Scholl, get that. He makes the catch. And Walton is apparently not a very good clutch hitter. Look at that. It was a 2-4 right-handed clutch single converted. And right-handed. And again, it's one of the curiosities of Stratomatic. They, if you look in the instructions, it'll tell you it's a pop-out. It won't tell you where. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll come up. Sure. And the side is retired. That's an anti-clutch situation. No runs, one hit. And one left on. And we are in the middle of the third, and that means you know what that means. It is a beautiful question coming from Demos. And I want you to all to give it up here and Give some attention here and see if you can get this. Demos with the question here. 2 nothing Seattle, middle of the third. Here it is. Who was the first U.S. president to throw out the first pitch at a major league game for a bonus? Who caught that pitch? Oh. Uh, we got a couple tafts. Uh, and I'm going to say, you know, I really, you know, I, I, I want to say, did Gabby Harnett caught it? Oh, Gabby Hartnett. That's some real, was, some say Dickey, some say Lombardi. I'm going to go with Walter Johnson. I know a catcher wouldn't do it. Uh, but just for the hell of it, uh, I saw a nice picture of, uh, I think it was, Walter with Coolidge. Uh, Taft, we say, is the first one. Taft is correct. Ja it is the big train. Oh, my. Oh, demos. I don't know why. I think I might have seen a picture of it. Let's go see if we can find that. Whoa. The big train. Uh, they <laughs> it's a, I guess it would be a... Uh, a tough question, uh, a tough question to, you know, uh, to get here. Didn't they get a picture of it? My goodness, I don't see it. Of Walter.
I'm looking. <sighs> I do not see. I do not see it. What really blows my mind is that th these people lived. These people actually were alive. I do not see it, uh, but look, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Let me see if I can find Coolidge and Walter. I'm pretty damn sure there it is. Oh, that's a great shot. And you know, I'm fascinated by history as much as the next guy. And here's Walter. It was a super question, wasn't it, Kathy? There's, uh, these people were real people, you know? There's, uh, we, I couldn't find demos, I could not find Taft. But uh, there's Walter Johnson uh, shaking hands with Calvin Coolidge, Silent Cal, they called him, and he's got quite an interesting life story. If any of you are interested, go check it out. Uh, I will leave you with this. I've said it many times. I'll say it again. He was a man of very few words. Uh, so when he spoke, people listened. As the story goes, he was at a dinner party uh, and one of the guests said to him, Mr. President, I made a bet that I could get you to say three words to me. And Coolidge replied, you lose. have the date, April 14, 1910. I didn't know that that was the first year. I knew he did it the first. Here's Bob Meyer now, bottom of the third. That was a great question. Uh, Oh yeah, they had the straw hats. I mean, it's really wild to study the history, look at the photo, photography, and think about what life was like back then. Okay, Meyer will face Pinella to lead it off. The rookie, it's two nothing Seattle, bottom of the third. Here's Meyer now. And the pitch to Lou. That's going to be 1-7 left-handed. It's a base hit. Oh, it's a triple. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was so quick on that. A triple by Lewis. Oh, the rookie hit it so well. 1-7 left-handed. Triple one, and it's a one on that 20 die. Oh. So Sweet Lou on third, here's Oliver now. Meyer from the stretch. Four seven, right-handed, he walked him. So Meyer in a little trouble here. First and third, no outs. It's Lewis on third, Oliver on first, and Bunker will come up. 
he will hit for sure. We just hope he doesn't hit into a double here. Okay, here's here's uh, Bunker. I was thinking of doing something fancy, but no. We'll just have him hit away. He's a 2WR. Here's Meyer. And the pitch, 3-6. He grounds it to short, but a run will score. It is a double play, and they'll take that run. You bet your ass they'll take it. They'll give up two outs for a, home, uh, for a run. That's my philosophy. Sometimes. No run batted in on that. It was a 3-6 ground ball short A. Stanley, second double play he has started. And it's a 2-1 to one ball game. At least they get a run. It's two outs, nobody on. Here's Hernandez now. Here's Meyer. And the pitch, 5-7, right-handed, struck him out. And the side is retired. That's the second strikeout for Meyer. There was one run, the leadoff triple by Lewis. The walk to Oliver, the double play scoring Pinella. We've gone three. It's a 2-1 ball game. And out comes Bunker now. His first endurance is the seventh, Myers is the sixth. Gonna get a little more coffee here. We'll need milk for tomorrow. Excuse me. It's still 1-1, Milwaukee at New York Mets. Top of the fifth, that's real world. Atlanta at Philadelphia warming up. That's real world. Here's Mincher now to lead it off for Seattle. It's 2-1 ball game. Bunker winds and the pitch to Mincher. That's one six right-handed, he walked him. Second walk allowed by Bunker today. Here's McNertney. Oh, that is good coffee, oh my. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Okay, here's Bunker. The pitch to McNertney. That is 411. Right handed walked him. So Bunker has put the first two pilots on with bases on balls. And we have a question mid fourth here from Bill Ivamy. First and second, nobody out. And here's Fred Stanley. Meyer comes out on deck. <sighs> From the stretch bunker.
That's 2-5 right-handed. It's a base hit by Stanley. Mincher scores. McNertney to third. And it's a very, very slow creep here. He has just allowed his third run. Meyer will come in. It was a 1-5. Will come up, I should say. One, it was a 2-5 a base hit. And here's Meyer now. Meyer a debunter. Infield back, first and third, nobody out. Bunker trying to get out of this. Here's the pitch. That's gonna be 6-10, right-handed, fly ball center X. This is where, you know, you have Northy of 4-11, that should be of no fault to Bunker. On a 6-10, right-handed. Northy, 4-11, going for it. See if he can get to this. <laughs> On a 4-11. Uh, that's going to be 14-4. It's an F-2. He gets to it. E-11, 6-11-12 in center. E-11. And he does get to it, F2. Uh, let's see if there's a tagging here. The runner on third tags. The runner on second may tag. It's gonna be a second run. The runner on first, Stanley will, he one to 12, will let him hold two runs in there. Yeah, it's, you know, the fours will get you every time. Look at these fours in Kansas City. Look at these fours in Seattle. That gives you a beautiful example of the kind of team they were. Uh, even Harper's a four. And speaking of Tommy Harper, he comes up with Stanley on first one down, two in, 4-1 Kansas City. Bunker just hanging by, the, by his teeth here. Otherwise, he'd be pulled here anytime. Here's Bunker from the stretch. That's going to be 6 9, right handed, struck him out. And that's the third strikeout for Wally. Two down now. See if he can get out of this <laughs> with just two runs. Here's Donaldson. Bowens is 0 for 2 today. Stanley on first two down. Here's the pitch from Bunker. 6-7, left-handed, he walked him. My goodness, that's the third walk. We're gonna see if he can get out of this, though, without any more damage. If he doesn't retire Comer, we're going to be very, very upset with him. Comer walked and doubled. Here's Bunker. That's going to be 3-3 three, three right-handed. That's a ballpark slash. Oh, my. Comer is a right-hander in Kansas City. And that is caught. Oh, what a beautiful catch by the shortstop Hernandez to retire the side. It was an 18. And Bunker gets out of that just barely there, but two more runs and it's four nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth. We have a mid third question here. A mid third question from Bill. Name the catcher who caught both. Koufax and Ryan, no hitters. We have a couple tour boards. We got a couple tour boards here.
couple Torborgs. That, I think that's been asked before. I'm not sure who asked it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was asked. Uh, I'm not sure by whom. <clears throat> it's 4-1. Thanks for the question. And here's Meyer now. taking a break for about two to three minutes. I'm not saying you asked it uh, after this half inning. Here's Scott Northey now to lead it off. He struck out in the first. It's 4-1 Seattle. The pitch to Northey. Oh, 5-7. Right-handed struck him out. And that's the third from Meyer. Meyer has pitched pretty good baseball. He did allow the triple to Pinella, but that's been about largely his biggest problem. Luis Alcaraz, he grounded into a double in the first. Here's Meyer to wind up and the pitch. That's going to be 3 6 left handed, grounds it to third for Harper, and it's two away. For Chuck Harrison. Meyer gets the sign now from McNertney. 1 6 left handed, a fly ball to center. It's high and deep but playable. Hovley under it, and he makes the catch. 1 6 left handed. Beautiful. It's a one, two, three for Meyer. We're heading into the fifth. It's four, one. Let's take a little break here. I hope you all understand I need to do some things occasionally. Uh, I will be right back. I hope you understand. Be back in about three minutes. Thank you. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh.
I am so sorry, folks. I went outside and my neighbor uh, started talking to me and I got into an extended conversation with him about uh, something. And uh, you know, you always want to stay on the good side. So we're back. And I am so sorry. It happens. I want to give you a little programming note. Uh, baseball demos and I will be live together here on YouTube on Tuesday, March 2 at 8 p.m. It will be a tutorial on Stratomatic Super Advanced Stealing something that I am in dire need of. And I feel like if I can get that, I can almost do it all. I could do it all corners. I don't do that now, corners. Uh, corners in, you know, that's sort of in, outfield in, I don't do that. Uh, but we're gonna get going back with this ball game. It's gonna be Bunker again. And he's gonna, he's, He's allowed four runs. This could be his last inning. We've been very patient with him. It's Steve Hovley to lead it off here, top of the fifth. And we have a mid-five question from Bill. Thank you so much, Bill. Very, very patient. 
It's 2-1 Milwaukee over the Mets in real world, top of the sixth. Atlanta Phillies scoreless, bottom of the first. And that's real world baseball for you. Okay, here's Hovley now, left-handed hitter, bunker. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Hovley. That's going to be 3-8 right-handed. He walked him. Oh, that's not good. It's on a very short leash now. Leash. Hovley with a leadoff walk. Here's Walton now. Bunker from the stretch. That's going to be 3-6, and he struck him out. That's the fourth for Wally. Now Don Mincher, left-handed hitter. That's going to be 5 8 left handed. Grounds it to second X. It could be two. Al Correa's 310. That's going to be 17 3. It's a G1. This could be a double if he doesn't boot it. <clears throat> 310, that's a 489 on an E10. And it is a G1 with a runner on first double play. And that will retire the side, and Bunker gets out of that after walking the leadoff batter. Hovley, we are in the middle of the fifth, and it's 4 1 Seattle. And we've got the question here from Bill Ivamy here. Here it is. That was quick. Name the last American League pitcher to hit a regular season home run before the DH came into effect. He has the same surname as one of your KC Royal batters today. I don't think I would know that. So that's a, that is a very arcane and interesting question. Rorick Harrison from Joel Horland, and just the sound of it seems like he's gonna get that. Rorick Harrison, you wanna talk about arcane? And Joel is correct, again, great question, great answer. Great question, great answer. Rorick Harrison, the last home run by a pitcher before the DH went into effect. I, I guess we would say that there have been a lot of home runs by pitchers after the DH went into effect, namely uh, Otani. <laughs> and I imagine they, they might have had, some people might have had pinch hitters, the pitchers come in to pinch hit for, for one reason or another in all these years. That's 50 years ago, 51 years. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth, Bob Meyer now. He's been very, very tough here. One run in four innings, it will be Paul Shaw to lead it off. And that's going to be 3-8, left-handed, single one, lines at the third, one away.
He has Buck Martinez now. He flew to right in the second. Here's Meyer. And the pitch to Martinez. That's going to be 3 5. Left handed struck him out. Fourth strikeout for Meyer today. He's looking for his first win of the season. A third, third, I'm sorry. He had none <laughs> in real world. It's two outs, nobody on. Here's Pinella now. Pinella tripled in the third and scored. The pitch from Meyer. 3-3, three, three, left-handed, grounds it to first, and Mincher takes it to the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 from Meyer. He's retired eight in order. We've gone five. Bunker, most likely his final inning, as they would pinch hit for him, down by three in the sixth. I would. Here's McNerney now to lead it off, top of the sixth. There's the pitch to Jerry, 5-5 five, five right-handed, grounds it to short, and it's Hernandez, one away. Now Fred Stanley is the batter. Steve Aqualog. Rorick. Here's the pitch to Stanley. 2-4 right-handed. It's a ballpark slash. Two-four. Ballpark slash right-handed in Kansas City. Now that may not go through. Right-handed. No, it does not. It's line to short, caught. By Hernandez, two away. And the batter is Bob Meyer. Here's Bunker, probably his last inning. I saw your video, Steve. Uh, I, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before of you in your car driving for some procedure. <laughs> and it was quite interesting. Quite an interesting thing. Uh, delaying your game or something like that. Quite an interesting uh, video there. Here's Bunker. And the pitch to Meyer, 5-9, right-handed, fly ball left field, and that is for Pinella. And the side is retired, 1-2-3 for Bunker. That was downtown Spokane. It was nice to be able to see some, you know, some scenery there. Uh, I, I love the Stratomatic visuals, but... That was pretty cool. Uh, here's Meyer. Uh, it'll be Bob Oliver, and it looks like Mo Drabowski is warming and ready. Uh, Oliver will lead it off here, bottom of the sixth. A penguin tail. Here's Meyer. I didn't know penguins had tails. And the pitch to Oliver. That is a 6-7 right-handed, grounds to second X. Donaldson, Bones, 424. It's going to be a G1. 
E24, three, four, five rare play. Don't tell me it's a deflection. <laughs> oh, there's nobody on. And so it's a ground out. Not such a rare play. One out on the ground ball to Bones Donaldson. And there will be a hitter here for a bunker. Really rare. Bunker pitched six. He's the loser of record. He allowed one, two, three, four, five hits. A lot of walks, I think. One, well, two, three, four, five. Uh, he struck out four and allowed three earned, one unearned. It will be Drabowski coming in. Next inning. And let's see who's sitting here with one out, nobody on. They really need to fix that. Really, the, those rare plays are getting, it's gonna be Hawk Taylor, Hawk, Taylor, and if he gets on, they will have a runner for him. Hawk Taylor is coming in to hit with one out and nobody on. He is a left-handed hitter facing Meyer. Oh, he's a right-handed hitter against the left-hander Meyer. I apologize. Okay, Meyer gets the sign from McNurtney. Here's the pitch. That's going to be 2 7 left handed. Struck him out. And that's the fifth for Bob Meyer. And that'll bring up Jackie Hernandez. Two outs, nobody on. Like I was saying earlier, the Pilots are in fifth place. They have a three game lead over Kansas City. They won the first game of this series of this two game series so last cup here Okay, here's Jackie Hernandez with two outs, nobody on. The wind up by Meyer and the pitch to Hernandez. Six nine right handed, fly ball to right, Comer under it. And the side is retired. Oh, another one, two, three. It's 11 in a row now for Bob Meyer. Just one moment. Yeah. And, I, and I sit there and talk. There was this uh, 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 Ed 
grew up um, no, no, uh, he was our mayor yeah. since 1988 and he's I sit with him and we talk and a wonderful guy yeah. and uh, he's got Parkinson's oh. and the tremors oh, so God. and he won't get and he comes even when he's cutting anything or oh my god he's shaking and he and then let, me just, let me just no no I'm done I'm done now oh, okay. yeah. but yeah okay, yes I can, I can chat uh, yeah you know, no 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 I just I wanted, wanted to tell because I, I have some people on the line here oh okay okay thanks but it's okay thank you yeah. but listen thanks for uh, the reminder but I have that set yeah I appreciate it so I much used to wait yeah. till about four thirty oh yeah so. sure sure yeah. or, you know because it's it's late uh, earlier late you know light yeah. is still and on you, and you can think to yourself that if for some reason those are not put out and something's wrong with you. Oh no no I don't hurt but the only reason well, because they put them out because Serene coming said no I'm putting everything out because okay. we cut all those branches in Solar's yard and everybody's yeah. everywhere. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yes sir. Thank you. Anything I can do to help you thank let me you know. Again. Anytime. Thank you. Yes sir. Oh. Folks, that was my neighbor again. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I got to tell you, I, I do everything I can to help all of them out, especially this guy, because he talks to the owner. And I get such a great deal here. I'm so lucky to be here. And uh, I don't believe there's any true altruism. I guess maybe if you really love somebody, you want to help them. But, you know, I, I do it <laughs> because to help myself, you know, and then the old saying, help others. You can help yourself by helping others. And there is value, humanistic value that you can get by helping others. But if I can be quite frank with all of you, I don't do it because I really give too much of a shit, you know, about him or anybody else. It's just I will get along better when I do that. So we are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's Bob Meyer, bottom, uh, wait, that side's retired. Yeah, that side is retired. Uh, and we're heading to the seventh. Lord. Uh, here's Mo Drabowski now. Taking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a community here. Okay, Drabowski is ready. It's top of the seventh. And Tommy Harper to lead it off. One for three. Again, he opened with a triple and scored. Here's Mo now. That's three seven right handed. Walked him. Whoa, that's not good. Mo has walked Harper. He's a double A, one to 15, one to 16 being held. Seems like a prime opportunity with a 4-1 lead. Here's Donaldson now. Bones Donaldson, 0 for 2 and a walk. Drabowski from the stretch, the pitch to Donaldson. There goes Harper. Oh, and he is safe. Tommy Harper has stolen second base here. Just to sort of rub it in here. And John Donaldson bones at the plate here. Two balls, two strikes on Donaldson. Harper in scoring position. And the pitch won five right-handed, fly ball left. And Pinella gets under it, one away. Now here's Wayne Comer. Drabowski in for bunker. Oh, that is good coffee. Uh, Here's the pitch to Comer now. That's going to be 3-9 right-handed, and that's a base hit. By Comer, this could score Harper. Harper rounding third. 
That's to left. One to 17. Yeah, why not throw? Why the hell not? And he is safe. What the hell? Comer went to second on that, and Drabowski ends up allowing a run. Shouldn't have even thrown. So Comer with a run batted in. It is now a 5-1 ball game. Comer in scoring position. Here's Hovley. Here's Drabowski. And the pitch, 2-9. Two, two Right-handed, fly ball left. And it's Pinella under a two-way for Danny Walton. Walton is 0 for 3. The pitch from Drabowski. That's 5-6. Right-handed struck him out. So the side is retired. Mo lets up a run. The single by Harper stole second, came home on Comer's base hit. It's the seventh inning stretch. And Bob Meyer, bottom of the seventh, has retired 11 in order. Scott Northey to lead it off here. Here's Meyer now. The pitch to Northey. That's six, six, nine. Right-handed, fly ball right field. Comer makes the catch. That's 12 in order. Luis Alcaraz is the batter. Meyer just really pitching great baseball. Here's Meyer. Four six right-handed, he grounds it to third, two outs. You know, I just want to mention a little programming note as Harrison steps up. I've mentioned it before, Tuesday, April two at 8 p.m. Eastern. I will be doing a live together broadcast with baseball, uh, uh, whoops, baseball demos. He's gonna be providing me with a live tutorial for Stratomatic Super Advanced Stealing. It is a roadblock I have. I have thus far not been able to figure it out, I'm sure there's a way to get through my head. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm uh, uh, envious of Steve Aqualung. I see Steve Aqualung does what looks to me like super advanced stealing in his replays. Uh, and Baseball Demos is very generous to do this with me and uh, he assures me I'll get it. So that motivates me. Here's Meyer facing Chuck Harrison. Two outs, nobody on. And I'll be posting that right after this game. I'm looking forward to even setting it up. <clears throat> Here's Meyer. And the pitch to Harrison. That's going to be 211. Left handed, grounds it to third. And Harper has it and throws him out. So that's going to be 14 in order for Bob Meyer. Uh, quite a performance here today. We've gone seven. It's 5-1. And uh, yes, yeah, Steve, thank you. You're quick on it. I, I notice you have a, you're in a groove with that. And I just need to get it. I mean, uh, you know, this should be <laughs> harder things to do in life than that. 
and uh, I just hope that Baseball Demos is patient with me. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. <laughs> okay, here's Minshew to lead it off, top of the eighth. Steve Horland gave up on super advanced stealing a few times before I finally got it. You'll get it and be happy you did. All right, it's Joel Horland. Thanks for the encouragement. And I appreciate we don't have people who shame you, you know, like what's wrong with you, you can't get it. This is encouragement all the way, thank you. Okay, Drabowski facing Mincher. 5-7 left-handed, struck him out. And that's the second by Mo. Now Jerry McNertney. McNertney doubled, walked and scored and grounded out. Here's, here's Mo now. And the pitch, 5-7. 5-6, I'm sorry, right-handed, struck him out. That's three strikeouts in order for Mo. And here's Fred Stanley. They might have a hitter for Mo if Stanley gets on. That's going to be 4-3, right-handed hit. That's a ballpark blast by Stanley, but he has W power. Right-hander in Kansas City. Oh, look at that. That must be a long ways. It's a long fly ball to left, and it's caught by Pinella. And the side is retired. One, two, three. We're heading to the bottom of the eighth. And, oh, I don't know what I was talking about with Meyer. What am I even thinking? No, is it? What am I even thinking? Disregard that earlier comment. That would Meyer will hit. We're heading to the bottom of the eighth. It's Paul Shaw. Meyer has retired 14 in order here. A two hitter. Shaw is 0 for 2. Yeah, I noticed that, Steve. I, it's a neat thing. I noticed you do the advanced rather than super advanced fielding, X fielding. And I'm kind of envious of that because it's so much quicker. It's so much cleaner. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm staying with it, super advanced. Here's Bob now. Uh, that's going to be 312 left-handed. He walked him. And that's an interesting thing. I think you do the most difficult of super advanced, the stealing. That's at least to, to me. That's the first base runner since the third given up by Meyer on a 312 left handed. Uh, wow. Here's Buck Martinez now. I'm hoping that when I do my tutorial with demos, I don't know if he's still here, I haven't seen him in text lately, but that he gives me a, a sort of a, a logical, simple uh, process to follow. I mean, just the whole thing just messed my head. Uh, here's Martinez now, Meyer and the pitch. That's going to be 5-10, right-handed, fly ball right for Comer, one down. Here's Sweet Lou Pinella now. I would think that once I'm doing super advanced stealing, I'll, I'll get more stolen. Because a lot of them, a lot of times you just, I'm very conservative, but you know. A lot of times I won't go stealing. It's Shaw on first, Pinella at the plate. He's one for two. He tripled and scored the only run for Kansas City. Here's Meyer now. 
That's going to be three. Ten left-handed, and it is a base hit by Sweet Lewis. First and second now. Meyer is now all suddenly one hit and or walk away from fatigue. How do you like that with Bob Oliver coming up? Locker pitched last game. We don't need to be using him again, in my opinion. Especially when you have John O'Donohue, a left-hander, available. Uh, and we, if we feel better about a right-hander, we'll have Dooley Womack. Dooley Womack, who came, I believe he came from Houston. I don't know if he's still eligible. I should check that out. Dooley Womack. Did finish up with Seattle. Yeah, he started on Houston and finished up on Seattle, so we consider him on this ball club, and he's already pitched. That's why I have him, yeah. That's why I have him here. Uh, so those two are warming, just in case. Here's Bob Oliver. Meyer trying to settle down. Again, one hit or walk away from fatigue. Here's Meyer now. The pitch to Oliver. 6-11, right-handed, grounds to first. It's going to be a double play, and the inning is over. Mincher stepped on the bag and threw it over to second. If that actually happens in baseball, I suppose it does. 6-11, right-handed, to get him out of that. Maintaining endurance. Mo will be able to pitch the ninth, and there'll be a hitter for him or whoever is the pitcher. Mo Drabowski, his third inning of relief, and it will be Bob Meyer here. <clears throat> Meyer 0 for 2 and a sacrifice. Fly. Here's Mo. That's 5-6, right-handed, struck him out. So Mo Drabowski doing very nicely after he let up the run <laughs> in his first inning. Here's Harper now, one for three, tripled, scored, walked and scored. Drabowski into his windup. Here's the pitch to Harper now. That's going to be 6-7 right-handed. Lines it to short, two away. And if you're looking ahead, there'll be a hitter for Mo. And that'll be top of the order, Hernandez and Northey. Bones Donaldson now, 0 for 3 with a walk. Mo into his windup. Here's the pitch. 2-5. And that's going to be a base hit for Donaldson. A two-out single. And here's Wayne Comer, two for three and a walk. Doubled and singled home a run. Drabowski from the stretch. The pitch to Comer. That's going to be 6-5 right-handed, and he struck him out. So, Mo, he does allow one in three innings. He strikes out five. Uh, no runs, one hit, one left. We're heading to the ninth. It's a 5-1 ball game. And here's Bob Meyer, who's really been something today. He'll be a hitter for Drabowski. With Kansas City down by four. See who it's going to be. Whew. 
It will be Joe Foy. Joe Foy to lead it off, a right-hander. He's been in the lineup. I don't know why he's not playing today, but Foy will pinch it. Here's Foy, a, a right-handed hitter facing the southpaw, Meyer. Meyer has allowed only three hits. He's walked two. Struck out five, one run allowed. Okay, Meyer is ready. Here's the pitch to Foy now. And that's 6-4 right-handed, grounds it to short X. Stanley, 425. Four twenty five nine four it's a G three. E twenty five six nine twelve. And he throws him out. So the Foy is retired, one away. Meyer, two outs away from the complete game win. This would be his third of the season. Jackie Hernandez is the batter. Jackie one for three. <clears throat> Meyer gets the sign. The pitch to Hernandez. That is three seven left-handed. Tap back to Meyer. And he throws it to first, two away. And Scott Northey is the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Bottom of the ninth. Seattle leads by four. Here's Meyer, he gets the sign and the pitch to Northey. That's gonna be three eight left-handed and he struck him out. And the game is over. A great performance, I would say, by Bob Meyer. The final, Seattle 5, Kansas City 1. And, and Seattle has now taken a four-game lead over the Kansas City Royals, holding on to fifth place. Meyer with his third win. He went all the way nine innings. Three hits. Walk two, struck out six, allowed one run. Bunker the loss, the final line. Seattle five, five runs, seven hits, no errors. Kansas City one run, three hits, and one error. So that's the ball game. Oh, Meyer. Oh, Meyer, what a performance by Bob Meyer. Looking ahead at our schedule, folks. Tomorrow morning it will be. I'm going to put it down 7.30. I hope I don't oversleep it. It will be actually a doubleheader. First of a double, Cincinnati at Los Angeles. Both are pretty much out of it. Nolan for the Reds in the first game. Singer for the Dodgers. And in the second game, it will be Arigo for the Reds. And Moeller for the Dodgers. I say stay strong, everybody. Thank you, Kathy. Have a nice evening. Uh, I want to appreciate everybody who was here. Joel Horlin, Kathy Harden, Bill Ivamy, Steve Aquilung, of course. Uh, of course, baseball demos. I don't think he's still here. Joel Horlin, I think I mentioned... Uh, Charles was here, uh, Ron McGrath was here, and everybody else in the Stratomatic community. Stay strong, stay well, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time, okay?